Hello, my name is Robert. I am a math and science tutor. I am also a patriotic American. People are dead because millions of you believed lies. Now, people are always mistaken all the time, and there are a lot of lies out there, huge number of lies out there. You believed the wrong people. I don't think you're all evil. I know you're not. I don't think you're all stupid. I know you're not. You're misguided. Actively, deliberately misguided by a con man and many enablers who are turning a tidy profit off of your mistake. Nobody likes to admit they're wrong. I'm not even going to ask you to do that. I just want you to quietly stop supporting these people who are murdering people and trying to overthrow the United States. You're not going to like what would happen. I don't care if it's your guys. If the United States goes down, you are not going to like the result. You're not getting some utopia. There's such a thing as reality. There's such a thing as facts and logic. Two plus two equals four. You don't get to argue that it equals five. You don't. Trump lost the election. Biden won with over 300 electoral college votes, and that is larger than 270. I'm a math tutor, I know. I know you don't want to believe it. Nobody wants to believe they've been betrayed. I was betrayed once. It almost destroyed me. And it took me a while. But I pulled myself together. I admitted where I made mistakes. And I made my life better. And I didn't go out and kill anybody. They're still lying to you, so many people. And Donald Trump has been lying so incessantly that you could pave the country in his lies. And he's tried to do that. There's no way I can say this without being partisan. I don't want to be partisan. I'm a math tutor. All I want is facts and reality. Other people can argue about what's the best economic theory or what have you. But you don't get to go against reality. You don't get to go against facts and math and logic. It doesn't work. Reality bats last. At the end of the day, your crowd killed four people. At the end of the day, I'm sorry, but you're wrong. You're just factually wrong because you have been lied to. You need to stop believing what Donald Trump tells you. I think the man would burst into flames if he was forced to say the sky is blue. The man lies like everybody else breathes. I didn't say that about W even though I hated his guts. I didn't say that about Reagan. I didn't say that about Bush Sr. I don't say that about any other president. But it is true of Trump. That is a fact. You don't get to argue with it. It is a fact. The only reason you're not in a straitjacket right now is because there's so many of you. We can't take 74 million people. All right, we'll say half of that are just being opportunistic or want conservative judges or whatever and are holding their nose and voting for Trump. But a good half of you actually believe this man. You actually believe him? He's a used car salesman. He's a con man. He's literally a snake oil salesman pushing his own medicine instead of dealing properly with a pandemic.
been talking for five minutes and I don't know how to say this. I don't know how to end it. It's up to you. You have to end this. You need to accept facts and reality and move on. You need to stop killing people. I am a patriotic American. And I think many of those misguided fools thought they were being patriotic Americans, but they were trying to topple the American government. They are not the good guys. And if you've been supporting them, even vocally, you are not the good guys. You're never going to stop being the bad guys until you admit that you have been. You don't even have to admit it to us. Just take a minute, think it through, realize you've been lied to, and face simple facts. Your country needs you. Your country needs you to face facts. You have to have the courage to face facts and admit, even if just in your own heart, admit that you were wrong. You were wrong. Donald Trump lost the election. Biden will be inaugurated on the 20th. Your country needs you. You need to be brave enough to face facts. We're supposed to be the land of the free and the home of the brave. If you actually think you're an American, if you actually think you deserve to be called an American, then you need to at least have the courage to face facts. Thank you.